When interacting with wildlife, it's important to read the signs. Those signs could be public notices with warnings, or indigenous people telling you to leave their endemic animals and relatives alone. Whatever you do, though, don't assume you can pet the buffalo or swim with the seal. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Rocky the Hawaiian monk seal gave birth in Waikiki on the south shore of Oahu on July 9th this summer. A regular at this particular spot, Rocky returned to Kaimana Beach to have her 14th pup. The new pup was named Koolani, or Heavenly Warrior in Olalo Hawaii, the indigenous language of Hawaii. In our language, the Hawaiian monk seal is known as Ilioholoi Kawaua, which translates to dog running in rough water. While they may look like a large dog swimming in the ocean, these seals don't run the beaches like they used to. Hawaiian monk seals are an endangered species with only 1,570 in population. While a majority of the population resides in the northwestern Hawaiian islands, approximately 400 seals like Rocky live in the main islands like Oahu. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency, Hawaiian monk seals are one of the most endangered species in the world. Existing nowhere else, these seals are endemic to Hawaii and protected by U.S. federal and state law. When Rocky gave birth to Koalani, federal and state agencies mobilized at Kaimana Beach to enforce those laws. But it was native Hawaiians, Kanaka Mauli, who stepped in to protect the mama nursing her pup. Why are Hawaiian monk seals endangered? Because of one of Hawaii's most invasive species, tourists. This July, almost one million visitors traveled to the islands. One million. One of those tourists, a woman from California, couldn't help herself, and on July 24th, attempted to swim with the seals. According to reports, the woman was warned about swimming in the area, but ignored the signs. As the woman swam closer and popped her head above water to get a good view, Rocky sensed her and became defensive. After all, this wasn't Sea Life Park. A protective mother guarding her baby, Rocky lunged and attacked the swimmer. Mess with the seal, you get the flipper. The state of Hawaii says that people should stay at least 150 feet away from mother seals nursing pups. Nevertheless, the state declined to charge or fine the woman, who swam just a few feet near the two Hawaiian monk seals. In light of this, Native Hawaiians began reoccupying Kaimana Beach to protect Rocky and Koalani from further harassment and to raise awareness about how tourism is harmful to the Hawaiian monk seal, the environment, and Native Hawaiians. I talked with educator Malia Lum Kavaihoa Marquez about their stand. Talk a little bit about um, what brought you here to Kaimana and what is keeping you here in this stand. Sure. Aloha Kako. My name is Malia Marquez. Um, I'm a Kumu, DOE Kumu, a uh, Hawaiiana teacher. I come from Mauna Lua, the east side. Um, we are here taking a stance for Rocky here at Kaimana Beach and her pup. Uh, she gave birth uh, quite about a few weeks ago um, and has been monitoring but unfortunately uh, the kahea went out for our lahui to come on down as there were many different videos circulating of mostly visitors coming around her very very close and about a week and a half ago there was a swimmer who actually they say was attacked but she was told many times not to go in the waters, there's signs all over, you know, you don't have to speak English to see the signs, and, and it's very recognizable that there are ropes, and she decided to go on her merry way and do her, her exercises, I believe it was on this side, and um, she got too close to the seal and the baby, and as any mommy of any species is going to protect their baby, so I think the Lahui has finally had enough of kind of the ridiculousness of people's ignorance and not paying attention to 
the importance of sea life and wild animals and staying a distance and making sure they're okay because as this baby grows and learns how to develop and survive on its own it's necessary to really get that bond with mommy and and have this time without disruptions from humans what's it been like for you and the other kia'i um, protectors and guardians that are here at Kaimana to to be here and to talk to folks about um, rocky um, to talk to folks about what's going on and to talk to those that maybe are responsive mm -hmm. yeah and maybe those that are not right um the first day you know majority i must say majority of the people here at the beach are very responsive they do listen they um m many of them want to know you know we're not seal experts we're just here to basically make sure she has some space but they are responsive and they do want to learn and and it, the learning goes from just from protecting seals all the way up to our Hawaiian monarchy so we can we can give lessons all day as much as they would like to learn uh, the first day I thought was really wonderful until I realized it's kind of disheartening that all of the police were not here for the seals but they were called because the Hawaiians were called to be here and that that's kind of, it's really sad to think that because I felt so happy seeing so many agencies here to actually protect the seals and we all work together until I was told directly to my face that the police are not here for anybody except to keep order on the beach from those here which obviously was us um, but other than that it's been really nice it's been it's always nice to gather with Hawaiians because we're all so busy with our own kuleana and our own lives and to just take a couple hours to regroup and to feed off of our energy and, and why we do what we do. There is so many issues here in Hawaii. I mean, I think my personal um, connection to, to our monk seals is it's just enough is enough. It's just tiring. We have protectors that are still fighting for clean water and Hawaiians are not the only ones drinking water. It's a human issue. We have people trying to dig up burial grounds, sacred places, monstrosities atop of our mauna. It's just endless and um, this was kind of for me the tip of the iceberg where can people just learn a little common sense. Let's just give wildlife their space, let them do what they need to do. As I use the analogy, you wouldn't go elsewhere if you knew there was a shark with a baby swimming around, if you knew there was a bear with a mommy around, a tiger, anything, that no matter what and how calm Rocky looks, she is a wild animal. And if she chooses to, these little guys are very fast. So I, and along with my entire Hawaiian nation, don't see an issue of closing the beach until Rocky and baby are on their way which is not very much longer but then you get into the money and the profits and the tourism and we can't stop this and we can't stop that and we have for covid so i don't think two weeks would hurt anybody to go to kahala or on the other side of waikiki can you talk a little bit more about where we are in waikiki and how where we are as a kind of tourist hot spot um, plays a significant role in the issue of disturbing um, these Hawaiian monk seals and the continued need to, to be here and to educate and to protect Rocky and um, these relatives of ours. Yeah, you know it's so different because if Rocky was on our Waianae coast, if she was at Kaena, if she was anywhere else besides the diamond of the Pacific here in Waikiki, she would be left alone. Nobody, locals, they, they, we wouldn't bother, you know, oh my gosh, there's a sea, okay, boom. They come often to Avavamalu, which is Sandy Beach by my house. Mm. Um, you know, we just, oh, nice, cute, you keep going. But I understand that tourists are coming here for the Hawaiian experience. I understand seeing wildlife is, must be pretty amazing to see right here at Kaimana Beach, but they also have to understand that the respect when you come to a place like this, it, it's really necessary. And 
it's disheartening to think that we only can close half of this beach and still allow swimmers on the other side when it's not really that big of a beach. And the first day that we were here and the kia'i or protectors, we, we shut this beach down and it was the most beautiful sight to see mommy and baby from one end and they frolicked all the way to the other end and then they came right in the middle where we all were quite a ways back barking and playing it as if to really mahalo us because they just had the whole segment to themselves and it's not that big and but because we are in the tip of the iceberg of Waikiki again everything is about tourists and everything is about money and the sad thing is some things in life are priceless and we shouldn't put price tags on visitors experiences rather than maybe educate them while they're coming over on airplanes show them what happened to that lady explain to them because in my viewpoint though well, let's say somebody gets in her way is somebody gonna shoot her to protect the human that's that's wrong they're not listening and when you don't listen there's consequences yeah I remember reading the headlines after the mm -hmm quote-unquote attack mm -hmm. and reading the titles of those headlines that mm -hmm. said that you know Hawaiian monk seal attacks mm -hmm. uh, you know, swimmer swimmer is recovering tonight after being injured by a Hawaiian monk seal at Kaimana Beach this morning the seal Rocky has been at the beach since giving birth to her pup two weeks ago can't TV for Shanila Kabir talk with witnesses to find out what happened Beachgoers at Kaimana Beach say they heard Rocky the Hawaiian monk seal panicking in the morning, barking looking for her two-week-old pup. After five minutes, they said she found her pup near the natatorium, and shortly after she charged at the nearest swimmer. Rosa Timberlake witnessed the encounter and caught it on video. It, it was a brutal attack. It, it was brutal. Uh, it was rough to watch. She, at one point, her Rocky's mouth, I think, got a hold of her head. And she was trying to splash and get away, and I thought the pup intervened. She said a nearby canoeer swam towards the swimmer and blocked her from the seal, and a few people carried her from the water to the shore. Rosa Timberlake's daughter was on the beach at the time of the attack, and she said everyone around her was scared. The seal saw the person and made a beeline for her and just started racing toward her. So people started screaming. People were like, somebody call 911. Like, everyone was freaking out. They didn't know what to do. There was no lifeguard on duty. Hawaiian monk seals are endangered and protected under Hawaii state law. Officials ask people to stay behind the roped off areas on the beach for the safety of onlookers and the seals. NOAA Fisheries said in a statement, we and partners continue to strongly urge swimmers and beachgoers to stay at least 150 feet away from mother seals with pups. While monk seals are generally not aggressive, mother seals can be very protective of their pups and have inflicted serious wounds on nearby swimmers. We urge people to consider using alternate areas for water activities when mothers with pups are nearby. There are no. What did What did you think when you first read those headlines? There's no way that there would be an attack on a person if the person wasn't swimming in the home of the creature. The bottom line. I mean. As surfers, they encounter sharks before. We get honu all over. When there's honu, you know there's going to be other things out there. So you take your chances going out into the water. But when you, you know, blatantly disregard people telling you you're not allowed to go in the water, and then she says, I'm going in the water, there's no attack there. You just put yourself in the feeding pool of where a shark, uh, um, a kalamai, a seal with her pup is there. And I'm sure the mommy didn't really want to hurt the human. It was just get away from my child. And that was basically what it was. And then as you see, Hawaiians came and helped her out of the water. Yet Hawaiians standing for this righteousness are blamed and the police are called against us. But if you look at the va'a that went out and saved her and then carried her onto the shoreline, it was Kanaka. So make up your mind, are we bad or are we good? We have no ill intent to call anybody any names, to have any kind of racist thoughts. We just want people that have a brain, which is any color of a person, to read and respect. 
That's all we're asking for because we have other kuliana. We have children, we have families, we have jobs. We, you think we like just sitting here all day long amongst tourists? Not really, but we do what we got to do. Yeah, and when when I when I saw the video, um, it was right before we we were traveling out here, and all of my my hoa that were coming saw the video. We talked about it, you know. Um, what was striking to me was like she was Mama was putting up a boundary and saying, "Don't cross my boundary physically." Absolutely. But that assertion of a boundary was also one that was about law, right? That Hawaiian monk seals are endangered, mm -hmm. that there are state laws and federal laws in place to protect them specifically as an endangered species. Can you talk a little bit about that and how um, maybe folks are navigating sort of the law and, you know, doing the job of, let's say, like the police to enforce the law and in turn, they're actually policing you all. So there's, I'm not familiar with every single bylaw and law, but there is Article 24 that says and states indigenous people have a right to protect la'au lapa'au, plants, medicine, sacred places, animals is highlighted, and whatever else that we feel necessary to protect our culture. It's stated right there. You're also supposed to be at least, I don't quote me, but I believe it's 150 feet is what I'm learning. I'm still learning all of this because I am not a SEAL expert. I'm just here to make sure people listen. Um, but it would be nice that, you know, if I was out there swimming or one of my hoa were out there swimming, you bet you we would get arrested, we would get 50 grand, fine. We would get everything to us, but because the haole lady says she didn't know, oh, no fine that she wasn't aggravating the mommy you have to be harassing the animal well i think swimming in her territory is pretty harassing and i believe her reaction to the situation as a mother seal actually showed that that was harassment and she kept her away from her baby so why that woman was not fined is beyond me why do we get fined and we get the police over here to pretty much be ready to arrest us if we tell people what to do. This is our Aina first. Before this is Waikiki, before this is anybody else's Aina, my ancestors, our ancestors, born native to this land, and before us, our, our animals. The Kumolipo in 555 and 554 states, it does say Iole Holoa Kawaua. We refer them as Ilio. Um, it's a very great resemblance to each other, the correlation, one is a rat, one is a dog, still called swimming around. And so the more I research this, the more I realize that it seems like we get into trouble, like if we can't be Hawaiian at home, where, where can we be Hawaiian? And yet here you are. Here are other Po'e Aina here today as well. And um, that's what's also really beautiful about this, right? It's, it's about protecting an endangered species um, here in Waikiki, um, but also about being Kanaka and being Hawaiian in this space that has been, on one hand, unsafe for Rocky and them, and also, on the other hand, unsafe for Kanaka mm -hmm. to be and to express themselves in ways that are caring and protective and building relationships with the Hawaiian monk seals that are here. So there's something really um, just beautiful and positive and wonderful about that. Um, and I guess I want to ask, you know, what, what would you tell people um, not here? about what's going on here and how they can help. You know, what do you, what do you think people um, can do to help in this stand um, here and now and in the long term for um, protecting our endangered species here 
but also for listening and supporting Kanaka. I think it's really crucial. Education plays such a hard role. It's not that hard to learn and listen. And Hawaii won't be called Hawaii for very much longer if our people keep moving away and our people keep dying. You know, we, we are a very small knit people with Hawaiian blood. And the, it's so much more than just seals. It, it's so much deeper than that. There is a huge correlation to we protect them because we as Kanaka, as natives of this aina, we're not protected. And so it's like people view us, oh, there's the loud Hawaiians again. Before thinking like that, perhaps take a step back and learn why are we like that. We've been silent for far too long. Um, we've been silent in regards to being the performers for the tourism industry. I've been there for 25 plus years. You know, enough is enough of, they want us to share culture. They want us for these beautiful sunsets and Mai Tais on the beach, but do you really know us? Where do we come from? Who's our, who's our ancestors? Our Almakua out there, our Mano, our sharks, who are we? We're not just the little brown people to go and dance hula for you and smile and take pictures. We are so much more. And the correlation between Rocky and her baby and us is, it's so direct. It is such a connection that enough is enough. We might not be protected, but we're gonna, we're gonna put our lives on the line for this, enough. For the Mauna, enough for everything. We all need to drink some water. I don't think any normal person doesn't drink water. Enough is enough. Stop digging up our kupuna because we don't go to your aina and dig up your graves. Stop. You want Hawaii? Then leave Hawaii as it is and learn about Hawaii and know it's much more than Mai Tai sunsets and me dancing for you. Is there anywhere that folks can follow along in uh, this movement, in what you folks are doing here? So there's, there's so, we've been posting a lot on Facebook and um, Instagram and our personal places, but we do have like Kalahui Hawaii, we have other websites, you can even just Google Hawaiian Monk Seal and you'll get a ton of information from different agencies, you know, or, or Hawaii as a culture, how's about Hawaiian Kingdom? Learn about that, why are we, why are we how we are? Why do we even have the Union Jack? There's so much to learn in regards to things that have happened to us. Um, that it's not, the funny thing is, some people say, I don't know because you can teach me. No, if you really want to know, you can easily find out. It is not my job my brothers and sisters jobs, our kupuna's job to educate you. You can educate yourself how you went to school, college, and find out important things about Hawaii. And then when you show your knowledge, we are a lot more open to share with you who we are. But it's not my job to teach you how to be a common sense human being when it comes to creatures like this. Oh look, are they in? We're gonna go close the beach now head this way because once they get in they get out whether they like it or not since this interview was recorded there's been a major development koalani after living his first few weeks at kaimana beach was relocated by state officials on august 18th 